Ahoy, shipmates. I know this may look like London, but it's not. This is not the London Eye. We're in Stratford-upon-Even today, shipmates. I hired an electric boat, had a close encounter with another boat while I was busy staring at my phone, and I spotted this. Human-powered ferry. How brilliant's that? Stratford-upon-Avon is a medieval market town in England's West Midlands and the 16th century birthplace of William Shakespeare. Also has a canal and canal boats and of course the River Avon which has boats and ducks. Even the Royal Shakespeare Theatre here has a bar overlooking the water. Lots of ducks and geese here enjoying the water as well. As you can imagine, such a peaceful and lovely little town. There are a number of very large properties on the river. Certainly was very popular with the tourists. Coach loads and coach loads. But I did find this ferry, which I thought was fascinating. Now, this is the original old chain ferry. It's a one pound for a crossing, 50p for a child. And it goes across the Avon between the two banks by the power of one mere human. Uh, this ferry was first opened in 1937 and was the last of its kind to be built in Britain. By 2006, it was carrying 100,000 people a year. And it was proposed to be moved to make way for a new bridge. However, in 2010, the ferry vessel resumed service at its original location after an overhaul and restoration work. Owned and operated by the local council. It doesn't really save you much time, I suppose, if you walk up to the main bridge and around and back down again. Maybe ten minutes, I suppose. But it's jolly good fun. And I don't think I've ever been on a manually operated chain ferry before. Ducks don't seem to worry too much about it. I mean, it's hardly going to run them over. It's not exactly fast. I can see that's one of the other tourist boats. I'll take you up and down the Avon to see the sights. As he gets closer, simply jumps off, ties up, and there we go, your journey has finished. But I was more interested in hiring one of these electric boats here. That's more like it, away from the hustle and bustle of busy Stratford. On my own electric boat, cruising up the river Avon and enjoying the views. In fact, all you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it, just a gentle whine of the electric motor. And then the lapping of the water against the hull. Perfect way, really, to explore the river. I hired this one for £40 for half an hour, and it can take up to five people. Wasn't paying attention at one point, almost got run over by a cruise boat. You, If you're not comfortable with controlling your own self-drive boat, they uh, will take you on a cruise up the river. Here's the controls. Very simple to operate. The steering wheel and the throttle using an electric motor, the Torquedo electric motors. Unfortunately, they've seen fit to hide all the operation of the device. So I've turned off here. Because we were going along at uh, four or knots or so. And we are slowly coming to a halt. Unfortunately, they've limited, so I can't go flat out. There is a speed limit on the river, and it does actually go the speed limit anyway. But there we go. We're more or less at zero now. Let's Open up the throttle. A little bit of reflection on there, a bit of fortunate. 
Now we're drawing about 480, 500 watts occasionally. We're up to 2, 2.3 miles an hour. 2.7. Point eight, as you can see, it's not exactly blessed with phenomenal acceleration, but it is delightfully quiet. In fact, I think you can hear the lapping of the water against the hull more than anything else. Perfect way to take some friends out for an afternoon cruise on the River Avon. The larger river cruise boat doesn't go much further than here, so he was turning around and ushered me past and as fast as I could go. And you could also hire a rowing boat as well. Didn't fancy that. I prefer boats with power rather than oars. Lovely looking river boat though. Probably a better choice if it's raining. I managed to avoid the rain today. Yeah, that's the way you can even fold the sides down if it's really boring. I can see my gentle wake in the background barely disturbing the river. This chap here has got a combustion engine. I mean, going a bit faster than I am. Just behind him is the bathing area on the river. Not sure if people still use it. I probably do with the whole wild swimming thing. But that is the allocated bathing area for the river. Or where you get in and out at least. I hopefully won't be doing that today. As long as I don't capsize this fine craft and watch where I'm going rather than staring at all the massive houses on the starboard side. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that one, shipmates. I think I'll just leave this going and you can enjoy the views and the gentle river cruise. Till next time, shipmates.